fifth graders, we've made it to the end of the week. Your last math assignment on decimal division. Woohoo! <laughs> so, our last assignment on it to celebrate is a crossword puzzle. It's a math crossword puzzle where you're filling in numbers instead of letters, okay? So, this is in your pack of worksheets. It says divide by decimals crossword at the top, okay? There's one thing unique in this puzzle and that is that we're dividing whole numbers by decimal numbers. It's, we haven't done that yet. So I think what I want you to do is do one through 12, the good old fashioned way with pencil and paper. Use a calculator for the, um, for the, one, the down ones, I guess. The across ones, do those um, by hand. The down ones, use your calculator, okay? Otherwise you'll have a lot of them to do. It might not be so fun, but We'll do calculator for part of them and that'll make it more fun. Let me show you how to do these. Just, there's no new concept, but it's just, I just want to make sure you get it. We're going to do one across, okay? One across is, think about how it asks us. It says four divided by 2,500. So here's our division box. That means the four goes in here because it's the four divided by 2,500. So notice the 0.25 is out here. It's the divisor. Four is what's getting divided up. So four divided by 0.25. So when we move our decimal, we go one, two. It's going to go two to the right. Well, there's no place. There's no decimal on this whole number. There is. It's invisible. Remember, it would be right there at the end of it. So I'm going to go one, two right here. Okay. So I, that changed this inside number to 400. Now I can go ahead and divide. 25, will it go into four? Uh-uh. Will 25 go into 40? Ooh, it will. 25 goes into 40 one time. I know I can't do it two times because two times 25 is 50. So one times 25 is 25. I'm going to subtract. That's a three, that makes that a 10, so I have five. Ooh, 15, okay? I have another zero to bring down. How many times does 25 go into 150? Think four times 25 is 100, so two, so it's six times. All right, so six. So six times 25 is 150. My remainder is zero, I'm done. So the answer is 16. So on your crossword puzzle, you're gonna go to the one across and you're gonna write in those boxes that look like this at the top, and there's a little one in there, you're gonna write 16, okay? Note that the, and then the two across, three across, four across, ooh, that's gonna, oh, there is no four across. <laughs> I was gonna say it was a single digit, but there is no four. Uh, five is down and six are down in the middle. You can see how they work, they're going across wise. So, do, do the across ones long long way like this do the down ones with your calculator you can double check yourself with your calculator to make sure you're doing them right and remember they all should fit in correctly so that when we have um let me let me do one down with you just so you can make sure you've got it right there's another box here so one down is six divided by five tenths so i have to move the outside decimal over once, that means I have to move this one over once so it makes that 60. Remember there would be a decimal at the end of my six, I move it over once and fill in a zero. Five goes into six, one time, one time, oh, let me put my answer decimal there. One times five is, ugh, didn't mean to write that. One times five is five, subtract and we have one, bring down that zero, five goes into 10, two times. So, Five. Two times five is 10, I subtract and I have a remainder of zero. So my answer is 12. So this is the down one. So I put the two right there. The one was already there from one across. So when I put the down answer, it's 12. The one's there, I put my two below it. So that's the answer to one across and one down, okay? All right, have fun with these. Use your calculator for some extra help. See if you can get all your answers filled in correctly on your crossword puzzle. And when you're done with this, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Take care and we'll see ya, bye.